Hello dear friends, welcome to my channel. Today's discussion is Ch Chinese Remainder Theory, Java program with Java program. So friends, let's uh, let's try to solve Chinese Remainder Theory. We have to know what is the theory Chinese Remainder Theory. Okay, and solve. I will solve it through the uh, through the process, which I I I I have I know. So this way. I will try to solve and you will see that how can you will see the answer is correct or not so the Java program Java program is same but you have to know Chinese remainder theorem logic so at first I have already write write that solve x more congruent 2 mod 3 x congruent 3 mod 5 2 mod 7 so let okay at first I write let m1 m2 and m3 dot 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 mn by chinese remainder theory that's why i am writing this pr wise very common sample this sample is very common you can get a lot of channel a lot of questions this question tough okay so pr wise Relatively prime positive integers. Relatively prime positive okay. This is my M1, M2, and M3. Okay. So let's go and integer positive integers greater than greater than 1 and less than 1 and e1 e2 en b arbitrary stem then the system of of linear stem of linear linear congruent congruencies are x equivalent to a1 okay mod a1 a1 okay obviously greater than because 2 3 is greater than 2 5 is greater than 3 so this is the way so x mod m2 up a n mod m n okay and in here dot 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 with a lot of number so friends has a unique solution according to the question has a unique solution m equals to m1 m2 and m3 up to mn so friends this is the nth nth linear system congruency is total three congruency okay so total three congruency and you see that m is equal to m1 plus m2 plus m3 m in next go go to solve those questions so that is there is a solution x x x with 0 0 less than equals to x less than less than m all other solutions are congruent modulo m to the solutions so friends in here you see that m1 in this question m1 equals to 3 a1 equals to 2 and m2 is equal to 5 and a3 equals to 2 m3 
capital M1 equals to 100 divided by 3, okay? So we get 35 capital M2 equals capital M3 equals to 15. So friends, this is my total so y1 y2 y3 are the modular multiplicative inverse of m1 m2 m3 so the formula is m1 y1 equivalent to 1 mod y2 is equal equivalent to y mod m2 and m3 y3 m3 so y1 and y2 and y3 you know that multiplicative inverses which are the modular multiplicative in inverses of m1 m2 m3 okay so we can find the inverse either by using inspection or the bj theorem since m1 m2 m3 are given examples are small values we can go with the inspections method so friends i have already teach you that how to find out this kind of this kind of problem 35 equivalent to 1 mod mod 3 okay multiplicative in inverse and 21 y1 okay 0 y1 okay 0 y1 equals to in here i can write 36 okay 36 mod 3 so what we get we get the value is minus 35 mod 3 so which is y1 equals equivalent to minus 1 friends you see that i get y2 y2 value is equal to 1 similar way i can get the value is 14 plus 15 15 mod 7 so y3 is equal to 1 mod 7 so this is my total total values so my calculation x my value is x is equal to i can write the chinese remainder theorem chinese remainder theorem is x is equal to a1 m1 y1 a2 m2 y3 y2 a mod okay mod is mod m mod m is equal to m1 into m2 into m3 okay so what i do 2 into 35 into 2 plus 3 into 3 into 21 into 1 and plus 2 my answer is 23 please check the total addition is 233 so we will we will verify it through the java programming so please check my total work this is my practical theoretical work now we will go we will run program and we will learn how to do java so i have already written because the time i think that in front of you writing this program is time wasting so let's let let me let me tell how, or the programming details okay so import java dot util dot star okay class app because i use java app so that's why i have to write class app and static int okay c r t int a means arrow i use means array 
array I used in here because 1 2 3 is my array so for int i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus m i y is equal to 0 and int j equals to 0 j less than m i and j plus plus okay because friends in here i suppose m i m i one m one m two m three m three that's why i value is based on which value i will i will put so if m j star m i i equals to equals to one then i equals to j and break okay the programming is break okay it is same as like a c c programmation programming so <coughs> in here break because i am doing this because for finding must remember finding 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 the value the of y1 y2 dot 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 y program and now i use this this formula because you see that that you see the programming x equals to equals to a1 a1 m1 m1 y1 plus this way it will go yeah m1 m m1 y1 so it is just product okay so star is this way that u1 m1 a2 m2 okay m2 a2 m2 a2 star m2 capital m2 to start yn plus dot 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 so it is So return return x percentile p. So run the program. Now the program. Okay. So you see that I have already written int a. This this is my program. I have my program is complete. But run debug. Run debug is that string arcs arcs this is the this is the way the programming writing that public static void main string this is a scanner is i use scanner and system out print print scanner code and this is the x such that x such that because enter the value so enter the value of the of the congruence relation enter the value of a enter the value of m so i have to this is my output for output i have to do this and size is also written so let's start our program let's run our code so you can understand more clearly so in here you see that enter the terminal okay okay i just want to clear everything yeah so again i will see again i will check okay so what is my terminal let's wait okay okay so this is my enter the relation okay so i have to write c yeah enter enter the value of a so what is my enter the value of a my enter of value of 2 c 2 okay so again enter the value of m so this is my 3 5 7 okay next my answer is 23 
so this is my answer so so this is my answer i i, I and you will check my answer is 23 and according to my worky so i hope you can understand how to do do how to do chinese remainder theorem in java program at first we know what is the chinese remainder theorem so and how to solve chinese remainder theorem in a theoretical way and also in java program thanks for watching i hope you can understand